Okay guys, so let's kind of uh, finish off the detailing in this vehicle model. Um, so this part we need to kind of fix the shape. There's some things that I don't quite like about it. It's a bit squashed and things like that. Um, we need to add in some of these detailing bits, which we're just going to kind of kind of just go for it and, and get those in. Things like the mirrors, the handles, like the grill, that kind of stuff um, that we need to add in. And then essentially, you know, once you've kind of got those techniques down, you could take this wherever you wanted it to and add in your own kind of stuff. Um, you don't have to duplicate things perfectly all of the time, but let's just kind of go for it. So um, I think we'll start with uh, this kind of front area of the, of the car here. Um, so we've got this kind of grill, I suppose that's one of the major thing that we've got there at the front. So if we go to the front of the car, um, yeah, we've got kind of it's not dead straight down it kind of tapers to the side there um, so we need an edge that's going in all the way there so I'm going to go and create that first and do you know what I'm actually going to do is I am actually going to get rid of this symmetry um, in all honesty I haven't needed it as much as I would I thought I would when we first started creating it but that's fine we learned the technique which is the main thing I'm going to go and get all of those Edges. Uh, I've got these wheel arch ones. Kind of caused me a few more problems than I was hoping it would with doing it with the boolean. Um, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Let's kind of just stick it just to these uh, connections at the front then. Maybe that's going to make our lives a bit easier. Okay. So let's do a connection here. Go to vertex selection, or oh, edge selection, and let's kind of pull this out. Just so it's kind of uh, tapered. I have to go to vertex to get this one in here. Okay. Now I kind of do want my symmetry. <laughs> At least you guys know how to use it if you need it. Okay, that's probably about okay. Um, and then it's going to be there, I think, where the grill's going to be, isn't it? Yeah, so we want to do an inset. There we go. And then, of course, that needs to extrude in. A fair bit, I'd imagine. There we go. Um, I think what I'll do, similarly to where um, I did uh, the wheels, where we did these parts out of another shape, I think it's just easier sometimes to do that. So I'm going to go and get another kind of box. Um, let's do my auto grid this time and do kind of create one of them. Okay, I'll pick it that way. That's probably about fine. Yeah, create one of them, maybe in the middle there. Um, let's move over to the side actually. And you hold shift and drag it. And then what you're going to need to do is uh, kind of, unless you've counted, I don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's do a try 20. So that goes off to the end. That's fine. Let's delete the ones I don't want. The problem that you often get is that that's not going to be lined up quite right. I'm going to delete that one. Unless you want to really kind of make it perfect, uh, which doesn't matter too much. And then you kind of just distribute these out a little bit each time so that that's kind of from a distance now that's not noticeable that there's a slight difference in the uh, distance there okay so we've got that kind of grill detail in in there um, <clears throat> what you might also want to do is just make sure they're all attached there we go cool so that's that um, underneath there we've got this uh, other bit as I say, I'm not necessarily a car person. <laughs> it's 
so that's why I don't know the terms. Um, but that's going to be in here. Let's maybe lift it up a bit actually. You can tell this this is the kind of point where you kind of need to have some understanding of what you're doing because I'm kind of just winging it and that's kind of what you'll need to do as well. You just kind of, once you've got the techniques, it's just about using them in the way that you need to. So I'm going to do another insert and extrude, um, but it's, again, it's tapered there. So I'm going to go to my edge selection and then just pull these edges in. Okay, these bits are also a bit further forward. Um, kind of higher up, but I think it's okay for what I've got. So let's scare yeah, you guys and pull them a bit further forward like that. Okay, so it's not kind of dead flat on the front there. Cool, we're getting somewhere. Now let's uh, have a look at these kind of lights. So we've got a made polygon, ready made polygon for it here, I think. Again, it's just going to be an inset. And uh, let's do an extrude back in. This time I'm not going to make it from another shape. I'm actually going to do another inset in inside here. And then extrude back this way. And then finish it off with a bevel on the top there. Again, the scale isn't isn't perfect. Um, now I'm regretting removing my symmetry, but never mind. You can see me doing it twice. If you kept your symmetry or you want to re-add the symmetry, then it might make this bit easier. Cool. So we've got the lighting bits there. What else is there? There's these random bits. Uh, which are kind of in here. So if we wanted to add that in, then we can just do a bit of a connect scenario. There we go. Let's do the same on this side. And then I think we need to probably pull these ones up. Kind of flatten that out. And then again, just doing our insert and extrude. Just to add in that bit of detail. One thing that's good about these settings is that they remember the last thing you did. So if I wanted it to be exact, um, I can just do the settings and it will reapply the last time that that tool was used. Um, so that's useful. Cool. Okay. That's what I say. Not exactly one-to-one -one scale of the, the reference, but it does the job. Um, what I actually want to do is I want to just make the car a bit longer. Generally, I feel like it's quite squished. It's just going to grab a whole kind of section and pull that back. Sure, maybe that's a bit better. This is one of those things where you could be tweaking for a long time.
Okay, that's K. That's yeah. This is just a kind of going to be a case of just getting bits and thinking, oh, it doesn't look quite right. I want to kind of move that in. I want to move that in. And using this kind of marquee selection method, to kind of get things how you want. Um, let's have a look at doing the uh, the wing mirrors and the handles. The handles are going to be super easy because they're just going to be boxes. So I can literally just go over here to box, just create one about the size that it needs to be, and just check it on. That's obviously a bit big. <clears throat> So I guess really with this point of the video, if you're kind of confident you know what you're doing a bit with this kind of stuff, then you needn't really watch me. <laughs> okay, and then the, the ring mirror, I think we'll do that one. And then the kind of other bits of detailing that you want to add is kind of just going to be up to you. So let's do again just a box. I'm going to make the ring mirror the separate separately. Okay, so there's this kind of bit of an angle like that. And then they've done the kind of boolean at the back here, or bevel, I should say. Let's kind of round off that back piece. And the front we can't see, but we can imagine that's probably going to be a an inset extrude situation. And then maybe a little bevel somewhere like that. That's probably about it. And then we can just position that where it needs to be. Round about up here. Scale wise, it's not too far off actually. Cool, and then we just need to kind of create a kind of bit that's joining. So I'm going to get another box. And kind of draw it onto the surface of that one. And obviously we're gonna it's not gonna be like that when it's done, but let's kind of do that. I'm gonna scale that bit up actually. So it's just kind of a little joining piece like that. And then we get our wing mirror and then plug it back in. Does that look right? I think so. Cool, so now we can, um, again, just kind of attach these pieces. I'm not actually gonna attach uh, this to the vehicle just yet. Uh, let's attach those two, I mean. And let's... A copy of that one. And then what we can do is up here we actually have a mirror option. Um, so you can click that mirror and then it will mirror it the way that you want it and you can make it a copy. Okay. Oh sorry, I didn't I already copied it. Pardon me. So push OK. And we can just plug that back in that side. Great. Cool. So, yeah, it's, it's come together, coming together. Um, I think from here, really, all you can do is just continually um, add in those details. I know we haven't really done anything to the back, so I kind of I'll leave that bit to you. Uh, in the reference images that I have and you can find online, that there, there is none of the back of the vehicle anyway, so you can have kind of creative freedom on that one. Um, but generally speaking. 
and be pretty happy with that. We could, I know we don't have this bit going all the way over um, in the way that I did it with the Boolean kind of cut out. Um, it made that very difficult, but to be honest, it doesn't need to be perfect. What we can do actually, why not, is we can get like these bits and just add that bit of extra detailing in there with an extrude. Just a minor one. Just as a, a bit of extra something. Apply that to the front too. Bit of extra detailing in there. Cool, great. So yeah, um, as I say, um, you can just apply those techniques to add more detailing into the model should you want. You can kind of rescale it, get the the sizings right that you like. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that's been really helpful. You can apply this to a lot of vehicle models, to be honest with you. You kind of started with that, that base shape. Um, you extrude to create um, the, the kind of basic outline of what the model's gonna be. So we kind of extruded out uh, the bonnet and the back, and then just kind of added detail as you, as you go along. Um, but it's the same kind of technique for any vehicle that you might want to do. And then from there, once you've got your shape like this, if you wanted to turn this into something crazy, uh, you could just go and add in more detailing however you want it. Okay, so hopefully that's been really helpful. And uh, see you again.